And welcome back to The Factor on Sense. And we bring you a lot of stories about the evolving workplace. Tonight, we're highlighting the changes for men who are successful. Now, according to new research, those men who are high-earning guys aren't working beyond the hours of their 9 to 5, or are they? On average, they're cutting down their work week, according to this, sur this study and survey, by three hours since 2020. I call my next guest in for this conversation, ER doctor, Dr. Abdul. Kudraf and the CEO of Cornerstone Cowboys Construction, Jose J.T. Torres. So, Jose, let's begin with you. So, are you working less? Are you working more? Are you finding time for yourself in life? Well, I just got off of work right now, so I'm working. <laughs> it depends on when you're asking. Um, but I think um, right now I'm working more. Mm -hmm. I'm working more. And um, it's just... Um, I'm working on another business, and so right now, uh, Cornerstone Cowboys Construction is our main business, and um, um, I'm the owner of four other companies, and so, and starting a new one, so definitely working more. I haven't taken a vacation in, in about two years, so it's almost, it's almost time. Well, JT, who the hell are these people <laughs> who have cut their days down by three hours since 2020? But do you feel like you can't afford it right now? You have to keep your eyes on your projects. Um, or is that something that's a choice you make? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a personal choice. Mm -hmm. It's a personal choice to stay involved in the business and paying the price right now. Uh, but I will say I, um, my time is mine. Um, I run my businesses mainly through my phone. Mm -hmm. And then on one-on-one -on -one connections, weekly meetings, but uh, a lot of time on the phones, I can tell you that. And uh, my loved ones know that as well. And so you said you haven't taken a vacation in two years. Mm -hmm. But is it possible what you're doing, you love it so much? You know, the, the acquisitions, the new companies, starting a new company, that you love that till you don't need a vacation? Someone just told me, JT, you never travel. And I didn't realize that I haven't in such a long time because I've been working so hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. But do you love what you're doing so much till you don't miss the vacation? I do. It's a labor of love. I do love what I do. All right, Dr. Kuja, you always out of town, but <laughs> I always thought you were on vacation, but you're also working at the same time. You have to. It's just a different work week now, right? And, and I should point out in the study, it wasn't that it's three hours less than 40 hours. In this group of people, it was from 55 hours right. to 52 hours. So they're still working much more than the average work hour. Mm -hmm. But I think it shows two things. One, it shows that people are trying to find a little bit of work-life balance. And it's because of technology, we can do that more effectively. It used to be your work week was at the cubicle with that office phone line. Now with cell phones and portable email, you can still travel a little bit. And, uh, and still be tied into your company. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people are just finding more efficient ways to get their work done than your typical work week. And of course, at one point you had your weekends, at least you had that as an <laughs> ER doctor. You know, at some weekends you were off, but now you, you've just added Reset Nightclub to it. Right, <laughs> now I, I do love, like you asked JT, I do love business. And anyone who wants to be a business owner and wants to be in that category, you have to know that you're going to make a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And some weeks are not 52, 55, it might be 80 to 100 hours. But you can't let that consume you. Mm -hmm. Now any new business is like a baby, like you can't let go for too long. So you've got to make the sacrifice, you've got to keep your eyes and your hands on it. But then it, there comes a point where you need to step back and say, how do I get that balance back? How do I reprioritize my life and spend time with my family, my loved ones, um, uh, take on new hobbies or the hobbies that you put aside for a long time, travel. It's really important because you don't want your work to consume you. For, and, and JT said he hadn't taken a real vacation in two years. Do you consider what you do, your breaks, real vacations or is it a working vacation? Have you ever said, look, I'm not talking to the office, I'm not talking to the, the ER rooms that have, I'm not talking to any of the businesses. I'm just gonna be about me. Have you ever done that? No, that's impossible. <laughs> because the, the consequence can be disastrous for the company, uh -huh. right? So what I, and I'm actually making an effort this year. I haven't taken an international trip like that, like I did last month, in many, many years. So it took me six months of planning mm -hmm. and, and making sure I had everything in place, but also staying connected. Um, 
I think it's important to actually understand that you're never going to disconnect from your company if you want it to succeed. You have to find ways to do it a little bit more efficiently. All right. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. Dr. Abdullah Kudrat, J.D. Torres, thank you both.